More than 6,000 rape kits went untested for years in Wisconsin, and that made survivors of sexual assault feel betrayed. The I-Team looks into what's changed and what state officials are doing to make sure that never happens again. Molly Horowitz calls herself a survivor. I think there's surviving and you're still kind of always a victim of a crime. Sexually assaulted in 2013 at her California college, today the Milwaukee native is fighting for survivors here at home. I've kind of taken my anger and my hurt and really driven it to something to be positive. She's working with the Wisconsin Coalition Against Sexual Assault to prevent rape kits from sitting on a shelf untested. According to the Wisconsin Department of Justice, more than 4,000 untested rape kits were just analyzed last year. More than 1,000 contained usable DNA evidence and law enforcement reviewed those cases, referring 35 for charges. So far, nine criminal cases have emerged from the backlog. It's a long wait for justice because Molly knows firsthand consenting to a rape kit exam can feel like being violated all over again. Your body is a crime scene at that point. What doesn't really change is how uncomfortable it is to have your legs up in stirrups, have cameras in places that cameras shouldn't be. Years after her incident, Molly asked the state of California to test her kit. She did not press charges right away. The man she accused of raping her was never charged. But she says having her rape kit tested brought a small sense of closure. Thousands of survivors' kits in Wisconsin sat untested for years, robbing women like Molly of even the slightest feeling of vindication. No one would elect to have a um, rape kit done, essentially, if they knew that it wouldn't lead to a result or even being tested. The Wisconsin Coalition Against Sexual Assault is working to support legislation that would start a clock on rape kits, making sure they are collected and then processed. We need to honor that and test those kits when the survivors are willing to willing to have not only have the kit collected, but then want to engage with the criminal justice system. Ian Henderson says their goal is to create a system where a survivor is not re-victimized in the search for justice. I think for survivors, it provides options uh, and it also provides information and a clear understanding of what uh, will happen to the kit. Under the bill, if a person wants to report a rape, the healthcare care professional has 24 hours to inform police after getting the kit. Police then have 72 hours to collect it and 14 days to get it to the crime lab. If the victim does not want to report the rape right away, the kit is stored for 10 years. And that's one of the reasons we need to make sure that there's never another backlog of untested sexual assault kits in Wisconsin. The plan has the full support of Wisconsin Attorney General Josh Call because delays, he says, can dismantle a rape case. Justice was delayed in some of these cases. The, the longer that kits wait to be tested, the longer it is until that potential investigative lead can be found. And delaying justice for survivors who agreed to an intimate examination of their body. Someone voluntarily said, you know, you can collect this evidence off of me. You can take swabs inside of me. Right now, this bill is awaiting a public hearing in a state Senate committee. Attorney General Call says it was delayed earlier in the summer while lawmakers were deliberating on the state budget.